I love when liberals try to use the Bible to advance their agenda. President Obama spoke in a town hall meeting in Nashville, Tennessee, and likened the plight of illegal aliens today to that of Joseph and Mary in Bethlehem. There's a whole story about uh, a young, uh, soon-to-be mother and uh, her husband of modest means looking for a place to house themselves for the night. And if we're serious about the Christmas season, now's a good time to reflect on uh, those who are strangers and, and remember what it was like to be a stranger. Obama's example is wrong on so many levels. Joseph and Mary were Jews, not illegal aliens in Israel trying to have an anchor baby. The reason they traveled to Bethlehem was to pay taxes, not to get on welfare, and looking for a room for the night is far different than staying the rest of your life. And never mind the birth of a savior to reconcile we sinners to our creator, according to Obama, the Christmas season should remind us all of when we were strangers. And that wasn't all he said. Good book says don't throw stones in glass houses or make sure we're looking at the log in our eye before we're pointing out the moat in other folks' eyes. I'm curious to know just what good book the president is reading. The earliest mention of the glass house proverb was by Geoffrey Chaucer in the 14th century and by no means appears in the good book. Considering the beam in one's eye before the moat in another's is biblical but would make more sense if he was talking to a room full of illegal aliens that did not want amnesty for other illegal aliens. Whenever liberals try to use the Bible to their political advantage, they end up embarrassing themselves. If Barack Obama wants a verse to consider, how about Exodus 20.16? Thou shalt not bear false witness. Thanks for listening, and be sure to catch The Ray Warner Show and subscribe on iTunes or at TheRayWarnerShow.com.